Atlantic School of Theology is a unique institution. It's a small graduate school of theology. We have about 150 students. We're large enough to be able to offer a really highly developed program. On the other hand, we're small enough to actually care for each other and be aware of the individual needs of students and to be responsive to that. The majority of our students are training for some sort of ministry, uh, either congregational ministry of one sort or another, or uh, chaplaincy, um, or youth work, those sorts of ministries. We also have students here who are studying theology just because they want to study theology or with the intention of going on and doing further studies, doctoral studies uh, afterwards. It's unique because of its ecumenical character. But we're a single school that contains within ourselves three founding denominations, Roman Catholic, Anglican and United Church of Canada. And because of our ecumenical character, we, we attract students of many other denominations and even sometimes of other faiths into the life of the school. So it's a very diverse school, but it's a school where we also celebrate particular traditions and particular identities. I believe that AST is a place that will prepare you excellently for that lived reality of the church as an Anglican. There are resources here that would enable Anglican students to, to maintain or to strengthen Anglican identity while in the meantime knowing how better that they can relate to their peers in other faith traditions. There are also a couple of the faculty, of course, who are Anglican, Anglican clergy, a couple of them. So that, that provides, I think, an opportunity for people to explore um, their call within a sacramental context of the church as they are challenged by other people's perspectives and points of view. I just created a space, and a little bit like a church, or a little bit like a holding environment, and people started coming. It was fascinating. We'll give you a good, solid dose of Anglicanism and Anglican spirituality. You'll get a good grounding in the Anglican Church's expression of the Christian faith. And what I think happens, in my experience, is that it deepens people's faith. It deepens their understanding so that when they're in the pew or they're active in their own spirituality, that they come to a, a tremendous appreciation of the nuance, the subtlety, the history, the drama that is scripture, that is history, that is contemporary theology, and preparing them for the work of being a baptized person. It's a very exciting adventure taking on ministry and this is a, a great grounding place in terms of getting that foundation. Supervised field education is the part of the Master Divinity program that really bridges the divide between, I think, the school and parish life. It's a privilege to have Rob here um, as a student, and it's been a wonderful partnership between the school and our parish that we're seen as a teaching parish. Uh, students over the, the first two years of the MDiv program spend uh, a certain amount of time each week in a parish um, with a, a pastor who is also a supervisor, a supervisor for them, so it's an experienced priest, uh, and they have an opportunity not only to do um, many things liturgically that perhaps they hadn't done before, but they also have the opportunity to reflect on that. So it's, it's an integral part to me, and it's something that AST I see offers um, that I don't see clearly being offered in other seminaries in Canada. My supervised field education uh, was fantastic. Really helped me apply the academic work that we were doing here, particularly in terms of theology and preaching and, and congregational development. Um, that component was vital, I think, to my work now in parish life. Being schooled in that through the three years of the MDiv, I think gives our students here an advantage then when they go into the communities of this diocese to serve people. There are a lot of issues that we're dealing with in the Maritimes, and to have people actually do their theological training in an environment where those issues are front and center every day within the community around the school, and then are felt within the school community, the Atlantic School community, is, is a very good thing for us. I mean, while we're preparing people for ministry, we, we also have to prepare them to understand and engage deep theological issues. AST has programs and courses that really, really walk hand in hand with developments, new developments in theology. The school doesn't shy away from questions from a secular world um, and trying to integrate faith and integrate our traditions. It's also a place where questioning is encouraged and I think that's really important for the laity as well as the, uh, the people who are going into ordained ministry. There's a lot of frontline training that happens here, which is good and exciting. The 
faculty is wonderful, the community is great, Halifax is beautiful. The people here just were very, they were very friendly, very welcoming. There's definitely a great sense of community here, even as a part-time student. It's like a family, that sense of togetherness and the, and the sense of community. It's a really formative and life-giving Christian environment, so it's just great. <laughs> it's an exciting place to be.